Okay, people. We're going to do something a little different here. Okay. It is now, oh my God, December 2nd. Where did the year go? Of 2023 at 101 in the morning. Okay, so here's what's happening. From hot to cold, hot to cold. I'm getting cold again. Anyway, Tish, Tish took the kids, right, for, for the weekend, right? So I told, I, I tell Tisha and Andre, first of all, right, that, you know, if you go, right, Andre, you know, there's only two things Nana will do. I'm either going to sleep, 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 or I am going to um, clean the living room, vacuum, because I can't vacuum when Amari's here, right? You know, can't really do any of that, so I'm going to do, for two days, basically, work in the living room, vacuum, uh, catch spiders in, in the couch, under the couch, and wipe things down, and wash everything, and I have my little steam cleaner still sitting over here, but I don't have the directions, but I'm going to see if I can get that hooked up, anyway, that's right, or I'm going to sleep, because I don't sleep very much, people, like, you know, I wake up like five times a night, every night, checking up on Amari because he's always throwing off his freaking blankets. And just whatever, right? So anyway, she took the kids and, oh man, I crashed. And well, I'm like, I'm so tired. I got two day, two and a half days just to be in here and work in the kitchen, fill jars and continue doing buckets as I'm working on the living room with no interruptions. If I want to sleep, I'm just going to go to sleep because I'm tired, right? And uh, so I go and I lay down, feeling guilty, feeling like I, I got free time now, right? Now I can just run around like a mad dickens. But I'm like, no, no, Judy, just get your power nap on. Like, fuck it, right? If you sleep for the whole two days, just get caught up with because it's like getting caught up with your sleep right so I lay down it was oh god four o'clock <laughs> right and I'm laying there and I'm laying out tossing and turning and I'm like oh you're just wasting time go get up and go start doing something and I'm like no 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 you know you're tired you're just wound up you're just wound up that's what it is you're so wound up that you can't sleep because <laughs> you're fucking wound up <coughs> <coughs> because I'm wound up all the time, right? So anyway, I made myself lay there and I convinced myself to slowly but surely relax to the point where I fell asleep. And sure enough, people, I slept from, we'll just say, 5 o'clock right up until almost freaking midnight. It was like 11.30. I just crashed. But as I was sleeping, I made note that I woke up two, two times I remember I woke up because I'm always waking up for a mar, and I'm like, oh no, just you're not ready to get up. Just go back to sleep. You have nothing to prove, nowhere to go. Just you will pace yourself for the next two and a half. You got lots of time, and you know, just get you caught up with your sleep. Okay, so anyway, I woke up. I hear my son running around, whatever, and uh, I'm like, okay, where are you gonna start? I'll start with laundry at 12 o'clock at night. And I'm like, nah, you don't need to be making a bunch of noise. Dishes are in the sink. Leave it till tomorrow. You can start d that tomorrow. And, you know, maybe you can poke around with a few jars as if I'm really interested in doing that. You know, right? You don't want to start in the living room until it's in the day daylight, right? You know, so I'm sitting here and I'm having a coffee. Okay, this is the point of this video. All right, as a matter of fact, just oh, hold on a minute. I'm gonna put this on in the background. This is what I'm what I'm looking at. Okay, first of all, I want to give uh, Deb's life, her her channel. Can I call you Debbie? <laughs> Deb's life. She she watches my videos and she's been watching my videos for a while. I think she has a different username now, and I think she told me she changed her username. Because I'm remembering her as somebody that's made comment over the years on my channel. How many years, I don't know, but it's been for a while. That um, she lives in an environment 
where the roof leaks. But, you know, things don't always get fixed in a timely manner, right? And uh, she's med made mention that she's been watching my videos for quite a while, so, you know, and she likes to chat, right, through message. So I'm sure we've had, you know, but, you know, you, you don't remember everything, right? And it's not like I have a rapport with this woman, right? Okay, more so now, right? And so I went to her channel and I clicked on one of her videos. She doesn't have a lot of videos, but anyway, I guess, I don't, I think she's just starting out. Why she'd want to be YouTube's bitch, I don't know. <laughs> but... <coughs> you know, each to their own, right? So anyway, you know, she's a supporter of me, so I'm like, okay, I'll watch a couple videos here, see what's going on. I'm watching this video, first one, and I'm looking at this woman that tell that's telling me that she's kind of elderly, but honestly, she doesn't really look elderly. She looks better than me, and we're the same age, almost. She's 61, I'm 62. She reminds me of my Auntie Noreen in terms of looks. Not in personality, though. My Auntie Noreen was stuffy. And she was a Jehovah Witness and a prude, right? So, you know. But this woman? So anyway, I'm looking at her, right? And I'm like, gee, you kind of look like my, my Auntie Noreen. And, and uh, you know, I'm going in. She's, she's going to make shepherd pie. And she's informing the viewer that she's not. A, this is not a cooking channel. And I'm like, okay, well, what is it? You're cooking, you know, obviously women like to cook. That's a, that's a pretty safe zone for us to do a YouTube video with. Right? Unless, of course, you're like an alternative news media or something. Then. But for just us average women that do YouTube videos, the kitchen is always a good place to be once in a while anyway. All right, so I'm, you know, that's how I'm watching. I'm thinking, okay, so, all right. And, uh, and then I don't know, she just, I don't know, some of the things she does just started to crack me up, you know, I'm like, I'm finding myself laughing, because I didn't expect to see what she did, because what she does is she, she, um, imports, you know, when you do a video, you edit it, and you add in words, and, you know, little, um, I have editors that can do some of that kind of stuff, I suppose. I just don't use them because I don't have time, people. Oh, there was a time at one point in the back past, there was a, you know, I did some videos where I was using an editor, editor that um, would splice videos in between whatever, right? And, you know, but I don't have a lot of time, really. And energy to sit there and be more um, flamboyant with my videos when it comes to adding in extra things as people do, right? Okay, so I'm I'm like after I watched a few videos and I walked away feeling in terms of, you know, I've moved on to a different whatever I do on the internet. And I'm like, you know, that was kind of funny. <laughs> and I even made a comment on one of her videos that it's quite the contrast compared to my videos. Because mine are so serious and gloomy sometimes, you know. Right? Or just so spring out of nowhere, you know, in terms of like when my landlady comes to the house and threatens to bring bins with her son to throw everything else so that, you know what, you can make more money, create more problems, because that's all you're doing, right? When you get to the crutch of it, right? And, uh, but those are real experiences that have real consequences that affect multiple lives, right? Okay, that's what I mean by contrast, right? You come to my channel, you hear that shit, and then you're like, whoa, right? And then you go to her channel and you find yourself giggling. <laughs> so, okay. So I'm like, you know, well, that was kind of inspirational. I, I wish I could be that way with my channel. But the reality is I can't really be that way. And, um, but 
you know, life is short, right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on this music that's under um, YouTube's audio li library that you can use to incorporate into your videos on YouTube. And I'm going to see if I can make my own documentary. Mm -hmm. I'm going to wait on truth for reality. Yeah. I'll be blind by then. <laughs> right? at the rate we're going with that, right? So I think what I'm, just for fun, because Deb's life inspired me to lighten the load in terms of don't be so heavy with the negativity that goes on with my life and try and bring in, I don't know, humor? Or, I mean, it's not, I'm not trying to be a comedian here, but you know, I'm like, okay, well, if you want to do a documentary, you know, what would you do? How would you do it? How would you say it? Like, are you right? And I'm, I'm looking at, in my mind, how Truth for Reality did his documentary. And I'm already piecing in my mind pieces of this, pieces of that, pieces of this. I just don't know how to merge them together. Or even if I'm even capable of merging, merging them together so that it appears to look like a documentary. Because, honestly, if I was to go down that route, I don't think I could say everything in two to three hours. An hour wouldn't be enough. Two is just getting into it. Three is, right, so now we're looking at a video book here. As if I got time. But, I want to give it a shot. So what we're going to do, and I'm like, okay, how am I going to tackle this problem? Well, I'll start with, the, start with, I already got categories in my mind. I just have to figure out how to put them together and merge them together and, and, and do some of the types of things that Deb does. Debbie, right? If she likes being called Debbie, she'll let me know. Um, to um, move things along through my documentary. And I can almost guarantee you, if I can make the first one, it's going to go into book number two, and then book number three, and book number four, over who knows how long. Because there is purpose behind my videos in regards to, there is a story there that is a warning for other people to protect their kids, their families, their communities, their country. Now I'm getting cynical. Did you notice how fast that just boiled to the surface? That's where Debbie needs to come in and just say, Calm down, Karen. Just relax. Breathe. You're doing the right thing. Turn on the music and just, you know, you'll live longer. <laughs> you'll look better. You'll feel better, right? Because, you know, laughter brings health. All right, so... Now I'm going to play this now, this little clip that I think I would like to use in my documentary. Um, the camera is just recording it, so I would think that as soon as I upload the video, YouTube with their AI or whatever will snag on to it and may very well add the attributes automatically within the description versus me making a video however I video and then import the music under that file through the conversion stage because I have I have to use an editor right so I'm trying to remember how to import music in with the video right and right now I am just going to use if I'm able to do it and I should be on this computer which has uh, Roxio 10 or something on it Roxio 2001 or 
I don't know. Anyway, it's an old program, but it works, right? Obviously, I upload videos, but I just don't get too complicated with it because I don't have time, people. I gotta be vacuuming, okay? There's this computer here. I know you can't see it. That one has a different... I had that one fixed. I had that one fixed by a guy that installed... I don't know. He installed something in there that can convert... Uh, a video format into another format in order to be able to use that format with your editors, right? <laughs> so I may install um, Photoshop 10 because that's, that's my other video editor that I have that has a few other features but they're limited and then I've got the two editors that maybe I can create my own documentary because honestly, I was kind of looking forward to it because I felt like that that was just a, a sliver of justice for Shemay and the rest of my family. And, uh, you know, because um, I don't think I'll ever get it from the courts. Right? Okay. So, let's turn this on and see what happens. Let's see what YouTube does after I upload this video. I kind of want to keep it short. I'm just letting you know what's on my mind, what I'm thinking to do. Here, let me turn this on. How do I turn it on? This 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 video is what is it called? Okay. Um it is called let me find it. Oh boy. I guess it's this one. It's it's a rock video, right? It's rock. It's called it's the artist is track tribe these things re remind me of the old middies back in the day yeah only they're not middies they're mp3s to which I know this computer can work with an mp3 but not an mp4 and it's um track title I guess the song is called Community, right? So we're gonna put this on, and then and then we're gonna just have this playing in the background as I finish with the video talking, and then I'm just gonna upload and just that's just so you know what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, in a situation like that, I'd be like, thank you, Deb's Life, for inspiring me to make a documentary. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm not really, like, mm, I don't know how to explain it. I don't want to say fake, but kind of like that, you know? I'm not, like, I, um... Like, I'm not an actor, right? I can't do skits. I can't take on another person's or another character's persona and play a role and act it out and then shed the persona and then walk away and be myself. That's, I just can't do that, right? So that's why my humor is, oh yeah, we're supposed to let this play, right? That's why my humor can oftentimes be dry. I have dry humor sometimes. So now I'm listening to this and I'm like, okay, what am I going to portray? I'm like, okay, what am I going to portray in terms of visualization in combination with this music within one of those clips, within a number of clips within my documentary? And as I listen to this, because I 
you know, I've done, I've worked on web pages and I've have several MIDI's already incorporated onto my web pages within the foundation, right? And these kind of remind me of MIDI's just by the way they're um composed and you know it's kind of hard to talk <laughs> with that in the background versus maybe visualization and I got a lot of videos on YouTube that I can snag into for visualization as an introduction to my documentary. I'm just thinking out loud here, right? Um, this, <laughs> so where does this take me? in the car going to the park to do a park event mm -hmm. traveling down the road with the buildings people walking by sitting at a stoplight right? getting to the park unloading the van setting up the canopies mm -hmm. yeah. yeah get the big boombox speakers out Right, in comes the DJs. Mm -hmm. Hang up the flags. Hey, hey, USA. It's an X revolution under a solution. That's exactly where it brings me, people. So I'm like, okay, you can do this, Judy. You got this computer, that computer, that computer, that computer, Andre's laptop, this computer. Like, what's stopping you? Well, all these negative things around me, right? Obviously. And I'm like, yeah, but you know, you're a little go-getter. You can do it. Like, you know, you... you kind of like a... icon. In your own right. Maybe other people don't see it, but in your own right, you earned it. And therefore, stand proud, be proud, carry the torch, lead the way, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Be a be a role model in good times and in bad times, but always go back by default to the good times. Isn't that what the foundation represents? You see, I got that, right? I got the foundation. I got the history. I got the legitimate backbone to uh, follow through and this is where Deb's life has brought all of that up to the surface in terms of that little bit of informa uh, inspiration inspiration right to um, be cocky <laughs> bring a smile to somebody else's face because I'm like watching her videos and I'm like, this, this woman's nuts. <laughs> right? <laughs> like I was completely surprised thinking of my Aunt Noreen waiting for this stuffy, stuffy, stuffy woman to, what, what you gonna tell me? You stuffy, right? I'm a little more flamboyant than you, but then it turns out she's more flamboyant than me. And I'm like shaking my head. <laughs> So this is who watches me, huh? Okay. But it it made me feel good in terms of uh, she made me she made me chuckle, right? Okay. So what? Oh, okay. Now we're going to a different different. This just went to another uh, file, and this one's called "Speak the Truth." Go by Ocean Ryan Mac Caffrey. Okay. 
See, these, these are middies. And I can only tolerate a midi for so long unless it's one that I myself personally like. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I am just trying to. Uh, doesn't look like there's lots to lots to choose from here. Why? I don't know. I guess they get posted up quite a bit. It says December twenty third, and I bring down my little mouse here. Oh, I can go to the next page. Okay. Uh, so anyway, that's what I'm thinking to do. It will motivate me to... Uh, get focused on one or two of these computers because, you know, with all this court stuff that I've been doing all these years, and, you know, I'm hoarding paper court papers, anything to do with court, Uncle John, you know, Andre, Sierra, freaking Shmay, and just Amari stuff, and, you know, with his medical files, and, oh, man, you don't even know. Here, let's go funky with flying. Let's see what that one is. We'll end this video. So, yeah. I am just going to um, continue doing what I'm doing. I'm just going to continue doing what I'm doing and when I get into those three or four buckets that I haven't done anything with yet, I'm going to do a video on that. But other than that, I'm just going to do a sweep through the living room, go spider hunting, <laughs> and then I have to remember, I live in an old house, I get these wolf spiders running around, you know, they come across, I sit here at night sometimes, or oh, one night, oh man, oh there's, there's words on this one, uh, yeah, I was sitting here one night, and I turned around and I looked on this floor, and there was this huge wolf spider, the size of a freaking, almost the size of a loony, standing there with his big old long legs. Because they come in when it gets cold, right? They come in from outside. And they live in the floorboards and stuff. And, uh, you know, this thing is just standing there on the f floor, right? And along comes another one, and standing right in front of it, and they... Right. I'm like, holy shit. <laughs> and these things were big. So I'm like, no. Nah. So yeah, every now and then I have to get up into the corners and just do whatever you know you do, right? Sweep. The ones that live on top, they're a different kind of spider. They just catch the little flies. Andre said, oh, Nana, there's this little spider up there in the corner. I'm like, well, that one is okay. He's your friend, right? <laughs> I don't worry about them too much. I don't worry too much about them the wolf spiders either because they tend to keep to themselves every now and then they might climb up like you know a wall or something but for the most part they're they like to be down on lower you know wherever but either or <laughs> so yeah i'll be getting all the corners i have to it'll take me hours just to go through everything get up into my sewing room a little bit with the crevice school tool right okay so we're gonna listen to one more so we know what we're gonna do here's our R and B and okay, so high noon, and this is again from Track Tribe, and it's called Funky, or no, the mood is funky. The mood is funky. I don't know if I'd ever be able to make a documentary. People should be interesting to see. I'll let you know when I start figuring it out. I can't do nothing until I get. I don't know. I gotta. I gotta figure it out in my head. this one so far. Oh, 
clap. I think I can get with this one. And if you noticed, everybody running around with X. Like, what the fuck, eh? They took, uh, what was it? Twitter? And named it X? <laughs> like, who does that? I can get with this one. Probably get me into trouble. Because <laughs> I won't know how to put it in the description box. <laughs> oh, fuck. And then I'll be, YouTube's treating me like their bitch again. What the fuck? Okay, I'm gonna definitely download this one and use this one. I might even loop it. <laughs> and I got a lot of props too, you know. Bring out the gong. Boom! I'm just gearing up for two days of laundry, vacuuming, <laughs> I'm filling up jars. Or whatever I'm doing. with the video I don't know like like right like with other videos other than having it play in the background and talk like I am right now I guess I should write a script maybe there's an idea right in terms of if well if you want to make a documentary you know, you got to go back to school here and remember how to put things together. Right? Start with your introduction, well, your title, right? Your introduction, then there's your body, and then there's your conclusion. It would be, right, you're fill in the blanks. So, I need a book. Open up new files. As if I got time, right?
ini deh Okay, so I did not download this, incorporate it into a video. What I've done is done a video with it playing in the background. So I'm just gonna upload as is, I guess, and let YouTube advertise it through the description see what happens this is where I'm not good with this kind of stuff right I like that I can get with that yeah. okay so that was good I like that so I've got two songs off of this library from YouTube and I'm going to see what I can do to I don't know start putting together a documentary of what my family has been through good and bad so that was called High Noon with the artist being Track Tribe Okay, so I'm going to upload this now.